Hi gang, it's Christopher here with another maintenance director training tip. Let's talk for a moment about monthly fire extinguisher inspections. Now we all know we need to perform them, but exactly how do you do that? Today we're going to look at the basics. Now we're going to be talking about the ABC dry chemical fire extinguisher, which is typically found at our properties. We'll be talking about other fire extinguishers in a different program. A lot of people perform the inspection by simply looking at the gauge. If the needle's in the green, they think they're done. And then they initial and date the back of the tag and think that that's it. Well, that's a nice beginning, but it's hardly the entire process. Today, we're going to look at exactly how it needs to be done. Start by looking at the area where the extinguisher is located. Is it properly mounted on a wall, or is it properly in a cabinet? Is there anything blocking it? Is there proper signage identifying where it's located? Now let's inspect it. First, we need to make sure that there's a valid inspection tag that's less than a year old on the unit. Grab a hold of the unit by the handle. Make sure that the handle moves freely. Take a look at the lever. Does the lever move freely? Is it bound up in any way? Take a look at the pull pin. Is it bent? Does it move around freely? Does it feel like it would come out if you tried to pull it out? Last, take a look at this tamper seal. Is it intact? Take a look at the body of the fire extinguisher. Remember, it's a pressurized vessel, about 125 pounds of pressure. Look for any dents, dings, scratches, rust, corrosion, anything of that nature. Now let's look at the gauge. Is the needle in the green? And remember, it's an analog device and it may be stuck. Tap on the gauge a couple, three times and see if it drops out of the green. Most extinguishers contain monoammonium phosphate based powder. It's very fine just like baby powder and tends to settle down in the bottom of the extinguisher. We want to go ahead and fluff the powder. We do that by simply inverting the fire extinguisher. You should be able to feel or hear it flop down to the bottom. If it doesn't, simply tap on the bottom of the extinguisher until it starts to sound hollow. Now this is a good time when you may use a rubber mallet to gently tap on the bottom of the extinguisher. Next, we need to check the hose or the nozzle. Spiders love to live in this area. Go ahead and unscrew the nozzle or the hose. Take a look on the inside of the extinguisher. Is there anything in it? Now take a look at the discharge orifice. Is there anything in there? Finally, we want to blow through the hose or the nozzle to make sure that there's no debris or obstructions inside of it. Go ahead and reassemble it. Now we're ready to go ahead and initial and date the back of the tag. Well, that's it. It's not complicated and it can be done quickly. Remember, you folks are doing a great job out there and are truly making a difference in people's lives every day. Keep up the good work. Until next time, stay safe. Hi gang, it's Christopher here with another maintenance director training tip. Let's talk for a moment about monthly fire extinguisher inspections. Now we all know we need to perform them, but exactly how do you do that? Today we're going to look at the basics. Now we're going